Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. We give glory to God on today. Come on, let's stop and give God some glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. We bless you today. We give you glory today. We magnify you today. Nobody like you. Hallelujah. Come on, you all got to praise. You know he's been good to you. You know he made a way out of nowhere. You know he opened the door. Hallelujah. You know he held back death. You know that he did it. Nobody can do you like he can. We give you glory now, God. Hallelujah. Woo! Some of you haven't praised him all week long. This is your opportunity to give my God some praise. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the honor of today. I love him on today. Nobody like him on today. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Come on, you're in your home. You're sitting on the side of the bed. You're at the computer desk. Glory to God. North, south, east, and west. He's still God. He's still worthy of a praise. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Hey, I see Tonorable Bless your name, God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, glory to God. In spite of my circumstances, glory to God. In spite of what I've been through, glory to God. In spite of what I've experienced during the pandemic, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth declare the glory of our God. I had a praise. I see Tom say. Yay, glory to God. I had a praise and I had to get it out. He's been that good. He's been that good. Yes, he's been that good. And so many times we sit on social media. So many times we just wait to be entertained. We wait to hear what thus saith the Lord. Yes. But we wait for a specific time when we can lay back. And sometimes we just have to enter his courts with praise. Hallelujah. And bless the name of our God. Well, I had a praise. Yes, Lord. And I had to get it out. I sure will say I had a praise. And I had to get it out. If you knew what I knew. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. I thank him because he's been that good. Hallelujah. I give him glory on today. I'm staying where I stand. I'm sanctified. I'm Holy Ghost found and I'm fire baptized. I got Jesus on my mind. I'm running for my life on today. Hallelujah. And I want you to come and go along with me. Hallelujah. I bless the name of God. I bless the name of God. I bless the name of God. mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth declare the glory of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Woo! The scripture goes on to say, oh magnify the Lord with me. Let us, woo, let us, let us, hallelujah, magnify his name together. And that's what we're doing on today. I bring you greetings from the First Church of God in Christ in Hillside, New Jersey. Hallelujah, where my pastor is the right Reverend Mark C. Jackson Sr. Glory to God, hallelujah. And my First Lady, First Lady Cheryl D. Jackson, I give glory to God. Thank you, our Zoom family, our church mother, Mother Jackson, Mother Dent, Mother Morris, Mother Settles. Hallelujah, Mother Taylor. Hallelujah, Mother Sanders. All of the precious women and, and mothers and people of God, I give glory and honor to you all. I thank God for our minister, Deacon Jackson, 
for our minister, Jason Williams, who opened us up and led us in that wonderful prayer for their wives and their families, for you, the people of God, whether you are on Zoom, whether you are on social media, hallelujah, my family, I give glory and honor to God, hallelujah. And for the first time, I can say I, I certainly give honor to God for the new presiding bishop of our church, yes. Bishop J. Drew yes. Sheard. Yes. Hallelujah. And Lady Karen Clark, Karen Clark Sheard, yes. to the people of God, to all of those who have experienced promotion in this season. Hallelujah. We bless God for all of the promotions. And if you didn't get one, you didn't get your promotion wish, wish you're on God's wake up list. And that's enough to give God glory for. Without a title, I give God glory. Without a title, I praise his name. Without a title, I magnify his name. But when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's already done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God for saving me. I praise God that we're back in our sanctuary. Yeah. Hallelujah for the word of God on today. And it feels good to be in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah among the people of God. Glory to the name of our God. Hallelujah. I fractured, not fractured, but badly sprained my ankle not long ago. So I remember not being able to put my feet on the side of the bed without going down in pain. I remember having to sleep at night, be, not being able to sleep before I had pain medicine to make me go to sleep. I remember having crutches and being able to only hop to put my weight down. I remember the pain, hallelujah, and the doctor telling me that by that weekend or by that next week I would be able to go back to work without restrictions and I couldn't even put my foot down. I was just hopping, hallelujah, because of the pain. But today, hallelujah, I got my high heel shoes on. Woo! I shave my second hair. I can do a full jumping jack, hallelujah. Glory to the name of our God. I thank you all that prayed for me. I know God is a healer. But you prayed and said, give her a speedy recovery, God. And that's just what my God did. He gave me a speedy recovery. So I'm here in the sanctuary with my high heels on, showing God that I don't mind giving him glory. Showing God, hallelujah, high heels are flat. He's yet worthy. Hey, I see Toto said, I feel God on this morning. He's yet worthy. He's worthy to be praised. To the word of God we go. Hallelujah. Bless the name of our God. You'll find me in Isaiah 61 in verse 10. For I greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom hath decked himself with ornaments. And as a bride adorneth herself with jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth, hallelujah, before all of the nations close the book. My topic on this morning, sized to fit. Say that with me, sized to fit. And we know we're talking about Isaiah. He's the eagle-eyed prophet. You know all about him, praise God. He had a ministry that spanned 60 years. His message was basically repent, return, be redeemed and renewed through the Messiah, and then to rejoice, hallelujah. He was sent as a messenger to Judah, praise the name of our God. But his message expanded not just to Judah, but to Israel and to the other nations that were surrounding. He told them of idolatry. He told them what they were doing wrong. He proclaimed the word of God and told them, praise God, the punishment was coming if they didn't repent. Hallelujah to God. You know that Isaiah and Jotham and chapter one through six were some of the kings that ministered that he ministered to during that time. You know that Ahaz, praise God, in chapter 7 through 14, and there was Hezekiah in chapters 15 through 39, but in chapters 40 
through 66, praise God. This is when we hear Isaiah telling the people of God that in spite of the punishment, in spite of what God would do because of their refusal to repent, that God was going to send comfort, that God was going to send a, a, a remedy for what they were going to do, that he was going to have hope and forgiveness through the Messiah. He told them that there would be a Messiah, a suffering Lord and a, a suffering servant and a sovereign Lord. And that's where we know him as today. Yes. He is our suffering servant. He was the suffering servant and now he's our sovereign Lord. If you don't believe me, you know some things that you've been through. Some things that you didn't even know that God would bring you out of. But because he's our sovereign Lord, he allowed some things to be. Some things that we didn't like, praise God. Some things that we didn't ask for, praise God. But he sized it to fit what we were going through. And because he sized it just for what you were going through, Sister Pagina, now you have the ability to be able to minister to somebody else. You can tell them that I'm, well, I'm going back to the cancer corner, cancer free. Mother Dick can tell them that when the enemy comes in like a flood, that God would raise up a standard. Hallelujah. Mother Jackson can tell them that even if you fall down the stairs, even if you have to wear a collar on your neck for a season, the God that we serve is still a healer. He's still a deliverer. He's still a way maker. And when we're going through our trials, when we're going through our tribulations, it doesn't always feel good. But you can't take away what I've been through. And I can't take away what you've been through. But when we come out, hallelujah, when we come on Hey! 
the door with all of the soup to nuts that they could do. So I put my garment in. Can I keep it real? It was a pair of jogging pants. I just wanted to turn it into a skirt because I wanted to be cute a little bit more than I was going to be jogging. Hallelujah. He said he could do it. So I gave it to him and held my breath. I went back in a week and he sent me a picture and said, this is what, I said, okay, it looks okay. So when I got my garment back and I put the skirt at a home, I couldn't walk in it because the leg part was so tight where it had, where he was supposed to have sewn around and I couldn't understand it. I thank God that the Lord told me to leave and not to try it on while I was there. I paid for it. I wasn't going to go back and, you know, show myself out. But I took it to my regular tailor. And she looked at it. And I said, explained it. Well, he said he could do turn my pants into a skirt. And he sewed it around the bottom. But I couldn't walk in it. It was so tight. I couldn't move my leg. What did he do wrong? Did he use the wrong thread? She said, no. He had the wrong type of sewing machine. When he put the stitches in, it, it bound the material together and he didn't understand how you could use the right machine to fix it. I gave him my second pair of pants. I said, now I'll pay you to do whatever you need to be to do to it. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. And, and the point that I'm making is just like the, 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 the man, I believe he's in Mark, he took his son who was having seizures to the disciples because he wanted them to pray for his healing. It didn't work. They couldn't do it. So he took the boy to Jesus, to the professional. And when he took him to Jesus, Jesus healed the boy. Hallelujah. And the disciples came in afterwards and he said, Master, why couldn't we do it? What, what, what did we do wrong? He said, this coming out by prayer and fasting. What am I saying? Sometimes the things that we want to do, we don't take it to the right source, which brings me to my three elements that I just want to talk about. We have to seize the moment. See and seize the moment. Check your fit. What are you doing that's not fitting right? You, you, you want to you wanna do the right thing, but you're in the wrong place. You, you want to live right, but you're around the wrong people. Check yourself. Check your fit. Maybe the fit isn't right. And, and you try to fix it and you just bring it to your girlfriend. You bring it to your dude. You bring it to your friend. But they can't fix it because they don't have the professional knowledge on how to do what's right. So you take it, hallelujah, to the professional. You seek specific instructions. You seek specific strategies. That's point number two. Seek specific strategies. My pastor said it like this, wait on the word. You can't just go where you want to go. You have to hear from God. So you wait on a word from God. He'll tell you just what to do. Don't go left, go right. You always go to work this way, but turn that way. He'll tell you just what to do. You need a professional, someone that's been in the face of God, someone that has a prayer life, someone that has a prayer ministry, somebody that knows how to seek God for your situation, someone that's going to speak truth to power, somebody that's going to tell you when you're wrong, somebody that's going to tell you it's time to turn right, somebody that's going to tell you you've been in this way too long, it's time to step up, somebody that's going to tell you you can go back to school, you can find scholarships in this direction, Somebody that can tell you, hallelujah, you don't have to live with that man you're not married to. Get out of there, hallelujah. God knows how to keep you. God can bring you out, hallelujah. Somebody, hallelujah, through the word of God, uh, basic instructions. Uh, before leaving this earth, uh, you'll find every strategy here. Uh, you'll find the word of God uh, for the people of God and for the situations of God. And then point number three, align yourself with success. Align yourself and assign success to your life. The Bible says it like this. We can decree a thing and it shall be established unto us. Find me in Job 22 and 28. The Bible says it like this. Hallelujah. Even Christ that quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were. Hallelujah. Romans 4 and 17. That Christ, that God, he can call, you can call those things that not, that are not as though they 
are. My child isn't saved, but the Bible says the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. My child ain't walking upright, but the Bible says train them up in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart. The Bible says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all of these things shall be added unto you. The Bible says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Walk around your house and declare the word of God. Walk around your kitchen and tell the 
to the name of our God. If you were here with me in the sanctuary, I'd ask you to stand. But you don't have to stand today. If you are on this platform today, if you've never said yes to the will of Jesus Christ, family, you're in the right place at the right time. This is the time that you can say yes to the will of God. This is the time that you can be reminded that the God we serve, he's still healing. He's still delivering. He's still saving and setting free. Throw your hands up in the air. Do it just like you're at the football game. Hallelujah. Ask God to help you. Confess your sins to him. Repent from every sin that you've ever committed. Ask him to come into your life. The pastor said, keep it simple. If you confess Jesus and you believe who he was and that he died and was raised again on the third day, hallelujah, ask him to come into your life and save you and make you brand new. And the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. You are a new creature in Christ on today. And we give God glory. The Bible says the angels in heaven rejoice over one soul. Come on and rejoice. I believe somebody said yes to the will of God. Come on, rejoice. Hallelujah. We rejoice with them that do rejoice. Hallelujah. I believe that somebody said yes to the will of God on today. I believe that somebody, like the eagle-eyed prophet Isaiah, hallelujah, believes that hope and forgiveness and consolation are coming to the people of God in spite of what you've been through, in spite of what you've experienced in your lifetime. It's not over yet. The best is yet to come. Hallelujah. You will finish college. You will get the scholarships. You will be re reunited with your family members. You will experience help. Hallelujah. In your body again. You will experience the strength and the power of God. You will have multiple income streams. You will have a successful entrepreneurial business. You will have a ministry that's thriving in the midst of a crazy and jacked up world. You will experience the joy of the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Hallelujah. I pray, praise God, that you understand now that you've been sized to fit everything that you've been through. And what you have now is a praise that's befitting the glory and honor of the God that we serve. Pray my strength in the Lord. Back in the hands of Minister Jason Williams. <laughs>